Okay, this is Simbongi. This is like the town that before got demolished. Disaster. Showing the peaceful landscape. The oh. peaceful landscape before the disaster. And then that's where the the mudslide came in, I think, right there. The lava. lava. The lava destroyed this half, I think. And then a mudslide came through here. We're right here. This all used to be houses and shit. Look at that. Just boom. Completely destroyed. That was 93. And then this is its present. present. Here there should be broken down houses and stuff. Which is right over there. So there used to be a pretty big town here. Decent sized town. Oh, I think the lava created that. This is before eruption. Oh, look at the people enjoying their town. <laughs> god, that sucks. Disaster by the eruption. <laughs> oh my god. Like... Holy crap, guys, look at this. November 17th, 1990, Mount Hugin started to erupt. After 198 an years of dormancy. Oh, it's like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It shows you the yeah, yeah. simulation. It was so bad. Yeah. Why is he standing here? <laughs> I guess that's why the people died. How many people died? Like 40? Because they didn't get out fast enough? That's so cute. <laughs> oh yeah. They built a whole bunch Stop of Stop the flows, yeah. A whole bunch, look. Goes all the way down. So now that's all you see left. Wait, so it was Unzen that erupted? Mount, uh... The flow stoppers. Oh, this says Unzen Volcanoes oh, wait, history. Is it Fugin? Well, we are here, so it's whatever that is. So yeah, you can go on the roads, which are abandoned, or they're they're not a, they're blocked off from cars. Not this one, but farther in. And in one of these thickets somewhere is trees and, or like, in ruins, ruins of a town. You can just wander around like an apocalypse, apocalyptic town. We just don't know where it is. Yeah, my teacher pointed them out to me before when we were walking down the hill, I think. A bit further up, a little bit further up. It might be. I remember like reading that it was like higher up the mountain. All of this. See that? See, it's this whole valley right here. Oh yeah, the roads are gated off. 
You notice like all the roads here are just gated off. Before the disaster, the early stages. So I think it's that way. The town, the ghost town that you can actually find is in that direction. <laughs> yes, you do. Facilities have been constructed to prevent and mitigate the disaster caused by debris flows. <laughs> if you want a QR code. Is this Snapchat gallery? You, no, it's not. I think your iPhoto gallery. Um, this is so sad. I wonder what this says. Like, what pe people used to have fun in this town before it was fucking destroyed. I know. Look at people enjoying their lives in this town. It used to exist. They look so 90s. So 90s. So yeah, Japanese look, 90s. Look at their hair. <laughs> they do. Late 80s, early 90s. <laughs> The pyroclastic flows attacked Simbungi Hamlet. Speed of over a hundred kilometers an hour, and the temperature over 800 degrees Celsius. 187 houses and farmland were burnt out by the pyroclastic flows. Circle of houses for scale. the Wikipedia article in the description below. And then maybe I can find the freaking ghost town before I leave. Okay, so we're driving by. Are you deciding whether or not to take the train? That road, where you have to go down 58. To go there, you need to take a left here, which we're not. It's that way, and now we're going away. 